I'm Nixie and this Sunday in the UK it's Mother's Day so I thought this seems a really fitting time to have a look at my mini baby capsules from Zero Five Surprise. So in these capsules there are 12 to collect and they are just little babies so I thought we'd have a look and compare them to a Barbie to see if they're a good scale. So I've got two of those capsules however before we open them I thought let's have a nice sort of base for comparison. So I also bought myself this which is a Barbie baby. So I'll get this opened up, check this set out, and then we can compare it to the Zuru babies. So here's the baby from the kit. It does have movement, its head kind of bobbles about. Its arms look like they sort of should move, but they don't really. However, it does have a sort of wiggly legs. They move like this. Then the rest of the kit, you've got this baby mat with quite a nice animal print on it, which is quite sweet. Then you've got this to put on top of it. So it just fixes in either side. So you've got yellow giraffe, white giraffe, and then these three little dangly hooks, which can they come off? Yep, they can come off if you want. So we've got an owl. I think this is a raccoon. And this one possibly a fox. And if you can see on the top here, it does say Fisher Price. So I'm not actually sure if Mattel's associated with Fisher Price or if this is just a collab, but it's kind of nice that it's, you know, a proper branded, I guess, baby product. Then the other items we get in this pack are a pink teddy bear, a pink bull with a Barbie head logo on it, and a little Fisher Price tortoise with real working wheels. I think this must be based off a real toy product. It looks like you maybe, I don't know, push it down and it would move. That is quite sweet. But now we've opened that, we can open the My Mini Baby Zero capsules so then we can sort of compare the two. Okay, let's see how nice these ones are to open and yeah. Come on. Nope, nope, no good. Right, and now it's off we can pop it open and see what we get okay so inside there are four bags a birth certificate where you can fill in details of your baby and then we have the collector's guide which is a lot smaller than most of their collector's guides so whilst there are 12 to collect technically it's four styles but in three different colors so you've got pink, green and yellow and in each of those ones you've got different skin tones for the babies. So it looks like you can get a pram, a changing table, a cot and a baby bouncer. So let's see what I've got. Okay, so this one's quite rattly so I guess we're going to have to be constructing something. Okay, so we've got the pink baby pram. I think we're going to need some more bits of construction, so let's open up a, another bag. In the second bag, we have more bits to construct the pram and the assembly guide. Okay, that is quite a lot of bits, so I'm going to actually read the assembly guide to make sure I do construct it correctly. All right, so that's the assembled pram. So in the next bag, we have a baby blanket in pink with a rainbow design and a little baby bonnet again also with a rainbow design it's sort of in a that sort of softer sort of rubbery plastic feel but still quite solid so final bag is gonna have the baby i don't know why but i sort of thought it was going to be in a bag like i don't know more protected i guess it is in a bag but so here is the baby it's very soft the detail's nice. It's got little painted sort of lips, sort of shut eyes and eyebrows. It's got quite dark painted on her. Sort of hands making like little fists. It's got little toe details. The colouring is actually really nice on it because it's not sort of like just one flat colour. The skin, it sort of feels like it's got more depth to it. You can almost imagine like sort of veins and stuff underneath almost. Just because it's it's... I don't know, there's a slight mottled leanness to it. Right, so let's try the baby in the blanket. It does have a Velcro on each side. Okay, and will this bonnet fit? It, I don't know, the baby's head looks kind of big for this bonnet, but... Okay, it does go in, but... I did feel I had to squeeze the poor baby's head to get it in. 
Okay, so full construction then, baby inside pram, and I'm actually quite pleased, I do think that's quite adorable, it, it's a cute baby. Alright, let's open up the other capsule, hopefully it'll be something different, we don't want another pram, and then we will look at them against a Barbie. Can I do this one any more carefully? Oh, no. Right, so here's our second baby capsule, and let's get for this one. There we go, get it open. Okay, this time we've only got three and I think it might be something yellow. It's, I don't know, I'm getting yellow vibes through here. Again, we get the birth certificate. Now in the first bag we get... Oh, I think we've got the baby bouncer. That is good. That is good, I'm pleased. There are these three sort of little hanging toys which means that this will be a very good one to compare against the Barbie playmat. Okay, in our second bag we get... Yep, I was right about it being yellow. So this is the mat for the bouncer, it's some um, robbery. There's also what looks like a little teething ring here and a small nappy as well. And here it is constructed and I think that's looking pretty good. So, final bag, and we will reveal our little baby. And here is the baby. And for this one, I can definitely see with the skin tone, they have sort of painted on a sort of mottledy like red to give it a sort of bit more skin detail. I don't know how well you can see, but maybe in places it's been painted a little bit awkwardly. I think the darker skinned baby sort of was done a bit nicer. This one's just got red in places it maybe shouldn't have. Okay, so let's just try on this nappy then. So we put it round and there is Velcro on this side and this side. And yep, not a bad little fit there. Right, now let's try the baby on the bouncer. So let's get its little legs around. And then we just need to strap it in both sides. And we can also give the baby the little teething ring. Okay, I think the bounce is cute, I like that. And I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit better for Barbie size than the quite small pram. So one thing I just wanted to mention, the comparison between two zero babies. I think it's nice that they've got different types of hair on the babies as well. So the darker skin tone baby looks like it's got sort of more curly hair. Whereas the lighter skin tone baby, you can see it's more just painted lines. So it's straight hair. I just thought that was quite a nice little touch. Now here is Tracer with the two babies and I think they're not a bad size for her. I don't think that would be unreasonable to say that was a baby a Barbie could have. They do have a sort of slightly more on the newborn baby side look to them I think. Possibly just because of the way they're all just like sleeping and they've got their hands all balled up like that. It does feel quite, quite a small new baby. Now if you compare it to this baby, I know it's in an awkward position for her to be holding in the same way, but it's clearly quite a bigger baby than these. And admittedly, as it's crawling, it, it's definitely older, it's not nearly as newborn. In terms of realism, obviously the Zuru baby is going to be winning on that front. This baby I think has more of a cartoony kind of face because it's got quite big eyes. So I'd say that's a point to the Zuru baby. Now here's the Barbie baby with all their play items, and obviously they've built the scale for this. But let's have a look if you can use the Zuru with the Barbie products. And yes, it does fit, but it's probably a little bit tall for such a little baby, because it wouldn't be able to flail and make these like dangling bits move around. And just out of interest, I thought we'd try and put the Barbie baby in the pram, but it does look quite big in it. I, I know it's crawling, so it's sort of in a wrong angle to really be put in here, but yeah, it, it's definitely an older baby. And while we're looking at the pram, I thought I'd look at the scale, and obviously it's tiny for a Barbie. There is no way she could push that around. Here is the height comparison. But you know who does look quite cute with this? Chelsea. So this pram is actually still very useful, but as a play toy for Chelsea and her dolls. On the other hand, the Baby Bouncer, I think, works really well with Barbie. And if I'm honest, I think that's probably the only item that is going to be a good scale. 
So just a quick look again at the collector's guide. So we know the pram works okay for a Chelsea toy. The baby changing table, I don't think you'd tend to get a kid a changing table as a toy for their baby dolls. So I'm feeling that's probably the most useless item really. The cot, again, I feel that would be a toy for Chelsea. I'm not sure that that's... I feel it's going to be again a bit too small to look proper for Barbie, like in a good scale. However, the bouncers, yeah, I'm pleased with that. I, I think that works. That, that looks appropriate. The little teething ring, though, I feel it's possibly a better scale to go with the Barbie baby. It just looks quite huge for the Zuru baby. Just in comparison to their tiny little mouths, like, I'm not sure that would be appropriate for a baby that small to be chewing on. And out of the Barbie toys, I think this one might be the only one that you could really use with these babies. The ball's obviously not appropriate for a newborn, nor is this kind of toy really. So which baby would I choose for my Barbie? Probably the Zuru. I actually think these are really nice. But I do think they can only be compared so far, the two of these. This one is clearly an older baby, so if that's what you want, Zuru doesn't provide that for you. Now the Zuru babies are made of the more silicone material, they're squishy compared to the hard plastic of the Barbie, but I've already noticed with these babies they seem to be picking up a lot of fluff, which is something I tend to have issue with silicone things in general. They just get fluffy and the older they get the fluffier and stickier they get. I'm sure there must be a good way of cleaning them. If you do know the best way of cleaning sort of silicone things from getting sticky and fluffy, please let me know what the best way is. So potentially there's going to be an issue about lastability with these babies. I am going to keep them, I think, bagged up to try and stop them getting too dusty or sticky. Now in terms of cost between the two, the Zuru capsules, I paid $7.99. Well, I think it might have been a little bit less because it was a two pack. And for this Barbie baby set, it was £10.75. But potentially you are getting more things with the Barbie baby. I personally really like this Fisher of Price playmat. And I assume it's probably based on a real Fisher Price product, which, like I said, I like the realism of that. I just think it, it's, it's nice to have real life things for your Barbie. And obviously, with the Barbie set, you did get three toys as well. So overall, I think I might have liked this Barbie's accessories better, just because with this one, unless you're getting that bouncer, it's not going to be really Barbie scale in my opinion, unless you want play toys for Chelsea. I do quite like that they did three different skin tones for the babies. I'm not sure how many skin tones Barbie does. I'm going to say at least two. I don't know if they do more than that. Now I assume this is probably going to be the only run that Zuru do of the mini babies. Just because, like, even though they said they were 12 to collect, it was essentially the same for, like, accessory items, just in three different colours. I just don't suppose they have many other ideas. But I am pleased they considered doing this, because you can buy realistic looking silicone babies, and they are very expensive. And I think these aren't too bad at quite an affordable price. So I personally don't think I'd have ever bought an expensive silicone baby, but for $7.99, I would be tempted maybe to try and get a couple more capsules to see if I can get the third skin tone baby, just so that I have options of all three. I'm not sure if any of my Barbies actually are mothers quite yet, but I like the option that if any of them did become pregnant, I would have a baby to use for when they gave birth. But anyway, thank you very much for watching as I had a look at Barbie Baby versus the new Zuru Babies. I would also like to say to my mum, Happy Mother's Day for Sunday. And if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos, do subscribe and I'll see you all soon. Bye!